Yeah. I grieved youths with faces like bread or though dread to be eaten. Remember always the societal drums and speed for perilous times and men. Our last days have driven the fast cars and cash. Wire, wire, and eventually bring wires to the G spot. Slay queen, slay king. You built your kingdom on a solid ground. Voices clapping back at their keypads to enable the savage blue bed make a feast. Brutal bullies, but the shaming and claiming men. This trolls truly deserves stones, not Stephen. I grieved youth. Leave this political monkey out of the post for a minute. Rather, if you had the same shoes on, what would you post for? Can you think outside the red carpet without going selfish? When our fathers prayed that our roads be rough, it was so that ups and down be crucial for growth. Rape and beg, sass and scars, but though Boko headsmen had no say on the blueprint. May your road be rough. That's a prayer for patience and missed all. They say fake it till you make it. They're faking it, hoping to make it, but you see them faking it on the ground and assume they're making it, then you start faking it, hoping to make it, but never making it, because even your heroes are fraud and still haven't made it. Then you start to second guess yourself, which is right, since you've been playing like a second as a guest to your own movie, where you should be the lead. But alas, when the filter all go away, reality will make a sput on that you see clearly. Pick yourself up. People might try to troll you and put you down, but pick yourself up. And please, do not forget to put reality in the manger, so that men can also pay homage to your truth. Because reality is our only Messiah. Fight for Nigeria. Peace.